This is one of the bags that one of them will be carrying. <laughs> this is the Inca Trail, one that people don't go on. Tent for the night, it's gonna be cold. Definitely the best camp spot I have ever had. <laughs> Hopefully the lake is visible on the other side. Oh my. We're Alex and Lindsay, two travelers who are exploring South America when suddenly strict lockdown began leaving us stuck abroad. We've been here for months, and even though lockdown is lifted, things in Peru are far from normal. We're documenting the whole thing and sharing it with you. Good morning. It's day two of our trek. It was pretty cold last night, so I wore my fuzzy sweater, my hood, and was like all bundled up in this sleeping bag. Um, it wasn't the greatest night's sleep, but it was worth it because of the view. It doesn't matter that we are a little cold because look where we are. So, we're going to show you a little more of this dome before we have coffee and breakfast, and then we're out. Right guys, so they just brought us some coffee and tea. Much needed. I got a coffee. What did you get? I got a cinnamon tea. A canela tea. And the color is starting to come out in the mountains as the sun comes over. Let's go up to the kitchen. Say goodbye to the dome. Okay guys, we're having some breakfast. Take a look, we have some omelets, some bread, some coffee, hot chocolate, and we're eating it in this little room in the kitchen. We had dinner in last night. Yeah. There are kui running around, <laughs> Kenny pigs. Alright, we're about to start the second day of our hike and we have to sadly say goodbye to our beautiful dome home. That was such an incredible experience to sleep there for a night. I will never forget that. Well, Alex will carry for one section for one hour. Yeah? Okay, okay wait. Yes. So we have a few porters that are coming with us. This is one of the bags that one of them will be carrying. 30 pounds. I think it's heavier than 30 pounds. That's huge. They said that on the Inca Trail, Sometimes they carry like 120 pounds, and that's a really difficult hike. <laughs> and we're off. This is the beginning of our trek, day two, and it's beautiful up here. Much different from the lower elevation area. We're actually going higher now. It was more of a dry mountains, and now we're just going through all of this brush. It's more moist up here, there's more water. So you get more mosses, more greenery. We're learning so much about Peru. So in Peru, the tallest, most important mountain around you is called the Apu. So, right there. That's an apu, very important apu, and then I believe we're on an apu right now, what they would consider an apu. I'm still learning, so let me know if I got everything wrong. I really like learning about the Peruvian culture, the Inca culture that runs really strong here. And so you're learning about things that the Inca taught and that the Inca believed. So their beliefs in Peru, their ties with nature, it's amazing. It's so different from back home. They're very spiritual. They're very spiritual and one with nature. And that comes from the Inca culture. So right now we're going into this valley that you see in the mountains. And surprisingly, just within that valley, there's kind of a 
jungle environment. So without even going to the jungle, just being in these mountains, we still got to go to the jungle a little bit. Our porters are chaskis. Chaskis were runners. So what we are doing in three days, suffering, so they, they can make it in two or three hours, max. They are amazing people. People weather, yeah? Mm -hmm. The Pumas team, yeah? <sighs> so we've probably been trekking for about an hour. It's pretty steep. We're just going up and up and up. All these grasses. He said today is the harder part of the hike. It's like all uphill. And we're gonna be hiking for at least four hours. So we'll get to the lake, which is at the very top, or almost at the top, and then we have to go down a bit to camp because otherwise it gets way too cold up there and windy. Everything is changing very quickly now. There's a lot more moisture in the air. We're kind of a little bit in like a forest, kind of mm -hmm. jungly area. We're in the shade with lots of moss and ferns. It's actually really beautiful and it's nice because we're in the shade away from the hot sun. It's like this right now because our, our families live, you know? So this is our first bluff with an awesome viewpoint. We've been in the trees for a while so it's hard to get the full spectrum of this area. But from here, wow. It's a good thing we're acclimated. Yeah, but we still have all of this. Probably the hardest part. So if you weren't here for the last video, basically part one of this, you might not know this is the Inca Trail or an Inca Trail. A lot of people say it as if there's one Inca Trail, the one that leads to Machu Picchu, but there are actually many Inca Trails and this is one that people don't go on. Taurus haven't been on this trail, so we're doing it for the first time. There are a lot of secrets up here, a lot to know about this place. So this is what we're walking on. You can barely see it going through there along this mountain. We hiked from way down there. The town is down there. Now let's get going along this. Look here, some of the areas you can barely even tell that the trail is there. And that's why this trail has been kind of hidden for a long time. Supposedly when the Spanish came to conquer Peru and to conquer this area, the Inca came up here into the mountains and that's how some of them got away. <sighs> so much more. All the local Peruvian people are way above us. And they're holding all our stuff, Peruvians basically. know how to hike. And we have a lot of improvement to go. It's in their blood, though. The porters, <laughs> I forgot what they're called uh, in Quechua, but uh, they have Inca blood, and these Inca people, they would run these trails. <laughs> they would run them for days. So they have that in their blood, so it makes sense. We're, we're city people. Uh, That's our excuse, US people. Anyway. <sighs> this is probably good for us. We haven't been on a hike this big in a while. Yeah. If you are new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this one, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Because we're traveling around the world and we want to share it with you. Ah, finally, we're about to reach the summit. Hopefully the lake is visible on the other side. Oh my god. Holy. Can you see that yet? What? Glacier. Wow. It looks like we're right on it. It's beautiful. Can't believe this view. That glacier mountain. You probably can't tell a camera how bright and vivid and close it looks from here. 
you can see like all the different snow formations even though it's far away there's like different layers of the snow if it were up to us we'd probably sit here for at least an hour resting but we're being pushed to go to the next place we must be on a schedule so look we hiked up a little further to get a better view and then everybody's down there they're gonna start the trek along this trail Inca trail this way and we're gonna catch up with them in a couple minutes so this mountain here is called Walkai Wilki you feel like you're so close but yet you are so far away okay now we're on that Inca trail that we were showing you along the hillside and one of our porters he actually lives in these mountains so we're oh, so we're going to his house right now out in the middle of nothing out here so our guide's name is Eddie and Eddie has done the Inca trail to Machu Picchu many many times and he said that this trail that we're doing now no tourists know about but it's much more beautiful and less hard of a hike than the one to Machu Picchu so if you want an easier hike just as good of views you can go on this trail and it's going to be cheaper because it's only a two-day hike it's not a four or five day one he said that the four or five day hike to Machu Picchu is going to be at least $700 per person wow look we're almost here we're in the middle of nowhere in the mountains there's a house we are probably a six hour hike uphill from the town of Oyente Tambo and there's people that live up here how do they do it you can't tell from the video completely because it's not in real time but we've been hiking for hours and then this pops up And these are wild cows. He said stay away from them because they could be dangerous. Be careful with the cows, huh? They're wild. Come on. So the only spot we could find shade is right here by these stones. And Alex is right next to a big cow pie. Pleasant. And then right in front of us are about four cows that we have to keep throwing rocks towards, not at them. But they're like about to charge at us, so. <laughs> Interesting. So we're having some vegetable soup out here. It's a corn soup with squash and some peas or green beans. Soup in nature all right we have a second course here we have chicken with vegetables papas fritas and rice pretty good considering they cooked it on a little stove they brought the gas tank in the middle of nowhere <laughs> up the lake we go this hike doesn't stop goes on and on and on and on oh well, that was an awesome lunch Mostly because where we had it, like, we've camped before, but usually that's at campsites and, you know, places that are designated for that. But we just did it right here, in the middle of nowhere. The last tourists. Look at these bones. Wow. Uh, so there's Lindsay standing in a bunch of bones. <laughs> Trying to figure out what each bone part is. What? <sighs> Look at this large crevice. <sighs> We're almost there. <sighs> Finally made it <laughs> after all day. 
this lake it's so quiet there's no sound at all up here in the mountains far away from everything Lindsay's going in just my feet Apu. There's a condor over here. We just left the lake. Now we're climbing along cliffs like these. And soon we will make it to our campsite. Hopefully before dark. Uh, there's barely a trail here. We're in the wild. We're going up there. No idea how to get back. Alex put the right. jacket on. Huh? Our destination right there. Yeah. So we won't show it much on camera, but uh, there are some sheep here getting ready to be cooked. Uh, and that's because dogs came from the town and killed a few of their sheep. So now they're going to eat them. And they're just hanging out here on the lines. Which I'll show you quick glimpses of, but not much. Our backyard is literally all these sheep. There's probably like 40 of them. Wow. They keep their firewood. Keeping firewood in here. Look at them working, getting dinner ready. This might be one of the most interesting cultural experiences we've ever had. So these two 80 year olds, they're a couple and they live here in the hills in this little hut with their sheep. 80 year olds in the US, this would be unheard of. It would be too hard, too hard of a life, but they're here in the mountains by themselves. And they're walking up these hills. They're tending to their own sheep. It's amazing. They have multiple little houses right around here for different weather, different climates. So yeah. they work hard. It's just this little hut. It's made out of stone, mud, and then it has the uh, grass or hay as the roof. This I'm is, in awe. Yeah. If We're I could be 80 years old and doing this, wow. We're out in the middle of nothing and they're up here just then. Look at this. It took us hours to get here. We've been hiking for like six hours today. Look at this. <sighs> so excited guys tent it's gonna be cold but nothing matches this view that we're gonna get when we wake up in the morning and just look at everything around us the house the view the where they keep the sheep this is definitely the best camp spot I have ever had by far. <laughs> Look at this. Here's a little house here. We're about to have dinner over here. Making new friends already. Hello. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Look, we made a friend. Hi. Oh, I don't think dogs get love like this up here in oh, the mountains. Hi. Hello. <laughs> he keeps wincing. Uh, hi. It's okay. Hi. It's so weird. Is it scared He's or... He's scared, but he wants love. Hi. 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 So guys, this is where we're about to eat tonight. Come here. They were hanging meat up on this. We're going in here to have some tea. Watch your head. Wow. So we have popcorn, sugar, coffee. We're gonna have coffee here's jam. Some crackers, can't really see over there. And they're cooking over here. Oh wow. Look at that. A little stove over there. 
So now we're having celery tea. Never thought I would say that. We'll be there pretty We'll be there pretty soon. Alright guys, if you are new to the channel, please That's You can't really you can't I feel like a turtle. Wow. This might be the most what cultural what would it be culture? Uh, uh, what's it like local? This is one of the most oh. interesting cultural yeah. experiences. If you want more, if you want daily stuff, you should head to Instagram. Find us at Alexander Travel Bum. And that's where you'll find daily stories and photos about our travels. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.